is what I picked up today at Value Village. I went there specifically looking for home decor pieces, vintage home decor pieces, and I found a lot of really cool gems. So let's have a look at what I ended up picking up. Uh, to start, I found this pair of candle wall sconces with this leaf pattern and just in really great condition. They were $6.99 each. Really gorgeous leaf pattern and I've been looking for candle wall sconces for a while so I definitely had to pick this pair up. As you can see the other one is right there. Really in great condition so I was happy to find those. Uh, next up we have this Cottage Collectibles by Gans Artist Design Doll. I am not generally a collector of dolls, but as you can see, this is in fully brand new condition with the original protective wrapping and everything on it. I'll show you the tag it comes with. This is part of the Keeper series. And this is Eckerholt, uh, Keeper of the Forest. So really cute little elfin collectible doll there. So as I said, I don't usually collect dolls, but this was in such beautiful condition. And I got it for $16.99. Um, I did go into Value Village with a 20% off coupon. So keep in mind, all these prices are 20% less. Um, and I think these collectibles go for about $40 or $50 online. So I thought I'd just pick that up. Next up is this beautiful hand-carved wooden picture frame. Picture frames is something I really want to start picking up a lot of as well to sell in my online shops. And this is a beauty. It's really clearly hand-carved, a nice wood with a black coat of paint over it with some, some of the wood showing through. I'll show you the back as well. So in really great condition overall, really nice heavy wood. So I was quite happy to find this piece. Next is this set of two vintage embroidered pillowcases with this really gorgeous, I think hand embroidered floral pattern along the edges and also this kind of crocheted embroidered fringe along the edges and a really beautiful high quality cotton. So I was very excited to find these. I wanna start picking up more and more vintage linens as well, cause I just love the look and feel of a vintage cotton. Next up is this beautiful vase. Not sure what kind of metal this is, if it's stainless steel or silver plated i don't think so i think it probably is stainless steel really beautiful detailing across the top here uh, this was 8.99 with 20 percent off there was no stamp or anything on the bottom but just a really gorgeous vintage piece so i was really happy to score that one and speaking of vintage vases i saw this one on the shelf and it really stood out. Not totally my usual style. I tend towards more of a minimalist aesthetic, but this one kind of jumped out at me. So I ended up picking it up and having a look at the bottom of it. Let me just get this oriented. And I noticed this little sticker. It says R Capo di Monte with a little crown. And so I ended up looking that up and noticed that some of these were going for thousands of dollars online. This isn't one of the super early pieces, um, so this won't be going for thousands of dollars, but I should be able to make a nice little profit on that. I paid uh, $8 for it. There is some chipping on it, on the floral pieces. They're quite delicate, but overall a pretty great score today. I'm pretty happy with that. Another vase is this um, hand 
flown IKEA collectible vase. I've picked up three of these now from different value villages. I always grab them when I see them. They're just quite beautiful, minimal, come in great colors. I hadn't picked this one up yet. It's kind of a, a navy blue. And this was only $3.49 with 20% off. And like I said, people do collect these. Next up is this beautiful rustic hand-carved wooden serving tray or catch-all. I'm trying to figure out what it would be best used for, maybe putting nuts and, and dried fruits in it to serve or perhaps using it for jewelry, which I think is probably more likely what I would do. But just a really beautiful piece fully hand carved on this beautiful wood, kind of rough edges, rough natural edges on it. And that was $3.99. Next is this little vintage jewelry case. So gorgeous. Made out of metal and has these kind of beveled glass sides to it with the red velvet interior. Just a really beautiful little piece for storing jewelry in. Quite heavy, quite high quality. Couldn't find any stamps or info on it, but it's definitely a great little vintage score. Next we have a classic kitchen piece, which is a three-tier hanging fruit bowl situation. Uh, this was only $3, so I definitely wanted to grab it. I think this is probably going to stay with me in my home. I've been looking for one of these for a while, but we'll see. I might end up putting it up in the shop. Next, this isn't home decor, but I was very excited to find this today. It is a vintage Papillon uh, little mini purse. Papillon is a Parisian brand. They made a lot of I mostly was finding purses online when I was looking this up and they're quite hard to find and this one is in just perfect condition. Such a cute shape, this really thin shoulder strap. I was so excited to find this and this might be a piece that I'll keep for my own collection. Then I always pick up cool hip sacks if I find them and I just loved this uh, kind of Mexican pattern on this one. An adjustable strap on this so I think this is a great summertime crossbody hip sack moment and then lastly one of the things I was most excited to find and I saw first when I came into Valley Village were these vintage embroidered or sorry needlepoint artworks and starting with this one, we have a cute little valley landscape scene here. And in a nice little simple wooden frame, I'll show you the back here. So it came with the hanging wire on it. This one was $7.99. And then this more kind of autumnal needlepoint landscape in a really beautiful vintage frame. So that was a big part of why I picked these pieces up because they came framed in these gorgeous vintage frames. And I'll show you the other one behind it. These were $17.99 each, which is, you know, a little bit steep, but for this size of vintage artwork, I think that's actually a pretty good price. And I've, I've been looking for a needlepoint artwork in a beautiful frame for so long, so I definitely had to pick these up. And here is the second piece, the large second larger piece. This is a gorgeous little springtime landscape scene with a little cottage in the background. And again, and just this really gorgeous antique frame that's in great condition. I'll show you the back of this one as well. So 
So again, came with the hanging material all ready to go. So very excited about those scores and everything else I found. I think it was a very fruitful day at Value Village overall. A lot of these things are going to end up in my shop. So be sure to check out my shop if you want to purchase any of these things. It's probably going to take me a few days to get them all photographed and ready to go, but I'll keep you posted. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.